Welcome back my friends. This is Manny the Miner and today we got something a little bit different for you guys. We're gonna be doing HGHB. I'm gonna be explaining what you guys need and what you guys what you guys need to target to execute this attack. HGHP takes a little bit of practice guys and some skills and you gotta you gotta decide your entry points pretty wisely and make if you guys if you guys are at Tano 10 and you guys want to learn HGHB make sure you guys stick around because this is your video right here guys let's get right into it first things first here's, here's the list that we need for HGHB 1 10 to 14 giants number 2 10 to 14 hogs number 3 0 to 8 bowlers number 4 4 healers number 5 equals clan castle and make sure you guys carry 5 bowlers and one giant. For funneling troops it's pretty much up to the base. If you need baby dragons or some wizards or even archers to clear some of that trash, outer trash, it really depends on that base guys. And for spells, here's the list that we need for spells. 1, 2 to 14 rage spells. 2, 1 to 3 heal spells. 3, 1 poison, 4, we need 1 poison on that clan castle, or a free spell, it's really up to you guys what you guys prefer. And our very last thing, we need skills and patience guys. So, we're going to be explaining Lord C from our next victim. Let's see how he executes his HGHB. So he's going to be coming in from 2 o'clock. His target here is to have his giants go towards the cannon and the archer tower because that the first air defense is right behind those two targets guys so you want your bowlers and your giants to take that out as soon as possible and as you guys can see here you always want to rage right before your troops encounter an air defense because you want to take that out as soon as possible and as, as we can see here, we have the air defense doing a lot of damage to his healers, guys. And, you know, luckily he had one of those bowlers on the ridge take it down. So he's, well, he managed to keep one healer alive. But he was, on this composition, he's only running two rage spells and he's running three heal spells, guys. In my opinion, I think that when you're running three heal spells and only around 10 hogs it's gonna be really it's gonna be really close because if your hogs run into sp spring traps you're gonna have issues even keeping them alive when the, you have a lot of defense to take down with those hogs so I feel like an extra rage instead of a heal helps a lot better but having three heals here worked out for him at, at this point everything's pretty much gone besides an, an air sweeper and an archer tower guys and we saw right there there was a spring trap right there so it was it was a pretty close a pretty close round here and he now he's just gonna pretty much clean up and as we can see that that wizard up there he's doing so much damage alone having one or two wizards right off the bat after your hog placement that wizard is gonna save you so much time guys that wizard is going to save you around 30 to 40 seconds alone. So, as we can see here, so we saw the bowlers, I mean, we saw the hogs coming in from around 12 o'clock, counterclockwise, all the way around 3 o'clock. And then now they're going back up around to clear up all those buildings that are left. And that can take a lot of time. So, you guys need to make sure when you guys do HGHB to have some wizards to clean some of the trash buildings right after your hogs. That's a really good key point guys. If you do not have those wizards, you're gonna have you're, you're gonna have time fail. And I guarantee that. If you do not have any clearing troops, 
you're gonna fail this attack guys so this was it this was it for the hghb portion it was used i mean it's pretty pretty quick but it's it could be really hard guys you guys need to keep in mind when you guys have your entry point so when you have your entry point what what's the first defense your your giants are gonna target all right so after that what's the next defense they're gonna go to and what's that what's the third one are they gonna go uh, to the core they're gonna go off the side all that it's really that's why H, all that you need to keep in mind and HGHB can be really hard to perform because of that your Giants you need to predict where the Giants are gonna go throughout the base you know the, this compartment they're gonna go to this compartment after that they're gonna go to this compartment and you don't want to jump spell here because the, those Giants will melt through those through those walls pretty quick so, but my point is, you need to visualize where they're gonna go from zero to at least five targets, you know, and once once you have everything in core, every, after that, everything just depends, you know, if they're gonna go north, south, whatever. So, just keep in mind, your entry point is your key to, to be a successful HGHB attacker, guys.